Good evening, Crossroads Farm. It's 10 o'clock, the time set aside each day for us to spend five or six minutes together talking about God for a little while and then spending time together praying to God, our Heavenly Father. I don't know about you, but I love to pray. I love to talk to God. Prayer is like conversation where we just talk and I'm in love with my Heavenly Father. But these days, I'm not very good with my words. Everything that's happening, I can't define or explain. And during the day, I'm working on my computer, I'm on the phone, and by the end of the day, my head feels like it's going to explode. And it's hard to pray. Maybe you're on social media or whatever platforms are talking to people and you hear others say, well, this is a great time to pray. We now have all this time to pray. Will you pray for me? And maybe you don't have the words. Maybe you listen to the nighttime prayers every night and you're glad they're on, but you're not really praying. Not knowing how to pray happened to me a couple nights ago. I had one of those particularly full days with lots of different things I couldn't define and I went to bed the way I normally do with all the little things I do to get ready for bed, tell my body it's time to go to sleep. And I did. I went to sleep. I slept for about two hours and I was awake for the rest of the night. I've been walking with God for a long time so I know that when I can't sleep it's a great time to talk to him and so I listened for what he would have me talk to him about. And, all I just had was were thoughts and fears and concerns and I felt myself becoming anxious and so I tried to think some words from hymns and try to think of some verses and it, and I couldn't talk to God I didn't know how and the day kept piling up kind of like a, a car pile up in my head of oh no Reagan shower and what about the details and how are our Crossroads farm kids doing are, are our seniors okay how are our staff tonight are they sleeping I wonder how our RCI pastors are doing. How about those 3,800 households that are part of making Crossroads Farm happen? How are their families? Are those moms doing okay? Are they going crazy from their kids all day? Are they loving it? Have they pulled in so they're not thinking about others? And man, those thoughts just piled up. It was a couple of days later, it eventually became morning and I went on with the next thing and, and prayed like normal throughout the day. Many people that have spoken at nighttime prayers have said to pray without ceasing and, and I talked to God all day long, but it was not until two days later that God said, remember I told you, I gave you examples of how to pray in, in, in my word. All you have to do is use that as a guide and, and maybe there are some people, maybe there are some Crossroads Farm kids that sometimes don't have words either. Today I'm going to ask you to grab your Bible, like off your shelf for real right now or in the room. Just go get it. I'll talk a couple more seconds. Maybe you have it on your phone, but man, there's something about holding God's word. And tonight I'm going to read from Matthew chapter 6. It's about right here. If you're not very familiar with your Bible and it's in the New Testament, there's an Old Testament, which is the first part of your Bible, and a New Testament, the second part of your Bible. And I'm going to be reading from Matthew, which is the very first book in the New Testament. Matthew chapter 6. Remember the chapters are the big numbers and the verses are the smaller numbers and I'm going to start in verse 9. And what I'm going to read is called the Lord's Prayer. When people ask, God, will you teach us how to pray? God said, pray like this. In fact, um, it's listed two times, once in Luke chapter 11, a little bit further on, and then right here as well in Matthew chapter 6. What's cool is it says, I know what you need before you even ask me, but this is how you should pray. Our Father in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth. Here right now, will your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Will you meet my needs? Will you meet the needs of my neighbor, my grandma who I can't see? Will you meet the needs of those kids who can't cross the border right now? Will you meet the needs, Father? Will you give us today our daily bread? Will you forgive our debts, our sins, like we've forgiven others? Father, lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Father, you protect us. 
If you ever need a guide of how to pray, it's right here. You can pray these words, and tonight I invite you as Ella, one of our student leaders from Hanover Horton, leads us in prayer. That you pray all those pile-ups in your brain that's going on that you can't put words to. Throw those pile-ups into these verses and pray them to God. Why don't you pray with Ella tonight? The Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us of our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, I know that I have sinned. I pray seeking forgiveness and relief from the evil on this world. We are in a desperate time of need. I pray you will bestow your power to us and day after day help us be more like you. In your name I pray. Amen. <laughs>